everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Fabric Workspace Identity and Azure SQL Database Mirroring come together. That's right, I can't sing, but last month on our Tales from the Field monthly live stream, I was happy to announce that we could now use workspace identities for our Azure SQL database mirroring. Now, why would I use a workspace identity? Well, it's because it uses Microsoft ID for authentication and connections. It provides seamless and secure access to data sources using the Fabric Workspaces Managed Identity. It eliminates the need for storing credentials, reducing those security risks, and enables fine-grade access control for better security and compliance. It also offers comprehensive audit capabilities. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're gonna go over here to our workspace settings. We're gonna go over here on the left and we're gonna select work space identity. With that selected, we're going to be provided the screen. We're going to select plus workspace identity. It's going to create our workspace identity. Here you can see data collation demo. It created that workspace identity for us. So now what we need to do is we need to grant security to our Azure SQL database. So we need to provide this workspace identity access to that. So over here in SSMS, I'm connected to my Azure SQL database, AdventureWorks 9. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a login in the master database. We're going to create this login and we're going to alter server role, granting it MS server state reader. So we're going to provide that external login access to this role in the master database. Next, we need to grant access to our user database. We're going to create the user based off of the login we created in master. Then we're going to grant that user select alter an external mirror to our workspace identity. So now that we've granted our workspace identity to the Azure SQL database, the next step is to actually deploy the mirror. So we've done two things so far. We've created the workspace identity and we've granted it access. Now we need to deploy the mirror. Back in our workspace, we're gonna select new item. We're gonna select mirrored Azure SQL database. That's the type of mirror we're interested in today. Let's go ahead and select that. It's gonna pull up a common screen we're used to seeing here. We're gonna select new sources. This is where things are gonna change just a little bit. Under new source, we're gonna see our connection settings. We're gonna type in our server name, our database name, and then we're gonna create a new connection. There you can see I have my connection name. I'm connecting to AdventureWorks 9. And then we're going to go to authentication kind. Here you're gonna see we have workspace identity now available for us for mirroring our Azure SQL database. So we're gonna go ahead and select workspace identity. We're gonna hit connect. Once we hit connect, this is gonna pop us back to a screen that we're very familiar with once again. And now we're not gonna go through all of the mirroring because we have videos on that. I'm gonna pop a couple videos up here on the screen that I definitely recommend you go check out. I'm gonna type in for my database name for my destination. I'm gonna call it AdventureWorks9 underscore WSI, workspace identity, and I'm gonna create the mirror database. It's gonna go through the steps of creating the mirror database. Once again, we're not going to go through all the steps here. Go and check out the videos we have on the channel for mirroring Azure SQL DB and managed instance. Over here in monitor replication, we can see that our AdventureWorks 9 underscore WSI database has a status of running. We successfully deployed using a workspace identity. To close this out, let's recap some of the benefits of utilizing a workspace identity to deploy and Azure SQL Database Mirror. It uses Microsoft Entre ID. It provides a seamless and secure access. It eliminates the need for storing those credentials. It enables fine-grained access control, and it offers us comprehensive audit capabilities. All right, folks, I'm gonna officially close this one out because fall weather has officially come here to Florida, and I'm gonna go outside. 
All right, we use Workspace Identity today to deploy an Azure SQL Database Mirror. Let us know if you're utilizing it. Let us know any improvements that you'd like to see. You know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. And as always, be good to each other. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. 